Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial. Today I will show you how to model a rifle cartridge and a rifle bullet like this in SolidWorks. First go to File and go to New. Choose a new assembly. We will model the two parts in context with the top-down method, so click OK to start a new assembly. Now click Cancel if you are prompted to begin a new assembly. Now go to Insert Components and push the little arrow and choose a new part. Click on the front plane and press Ctrl and 1. Now select the center line tool and sketch a horizontal center line like this and double click to escape. Click the center line and choose infinite length and Ctrl click the center line and the origin and make a, a coincident relation. Now choose the line tool. No, first you choose the point and sketch a point here. Press escape, control click the point and the origin and make a vertical relation. Now we will model with the uh, with inches, so if you have millimeters you should choose inch, pound and second from here. Now choose the, the point and click edit sketch and choose your smart dimension tool and click the point and the center line and give it a diameter of 0.0473. Now zoom a little in and drag this dimension. Select your line tool and sketch some lines like I'm doing here. We will give all these lines some, some references and some dimensions. And double click to escape. Now click this point and this point and make it horizontal. Click this point and this point and make it vertical. Now choose your smart dimension tool. And click this line and this line. And give it a dimension of 0 0.049. Zoom a little in and drag this point like this. Choose your Smart Dimension tool and give it an, this one an angle of 45. Choose this line and give it a dimension of 0 0.034. Choose this line and give it a dimension of 0 0.033. Choose this line and this line and make an angle of 30. No, sorry, make it of 60 like this. Now choose this line and the center line. I give it a diameter of 0 0.409 like that. And choose this line and the center line and give it a diameter of 0 0.209. Choose this line and the center line and give it a diameter of 0 0.12. Choose this line and give it a dimension of 0 0.055. Now choose this line and the center line and give it an angle of 45 degrees. And choose this point and this point and make a vertical dimension of 0 0.016. Now drag this one a little up. Choose your Smart Dimension tool and click this point and this point and give it a horizontal dimension of 0 0.03 and click this. No, we should choose this point. Oops. Choose this point and the, R, the center line and give it a diameter of 0.47 and click OK. So now the sketch is fully defined. You should zoom a little out. Now choose your line tool once more and sketch some lines like I'm doing here. And press escape. 
Now make sure these two lines are horizontal. You can check it here. And control click this line and this line and give it a parallel relation. Choose your smart dimension tool and click this line and this line and give it a dimension of 0 0.016. And this one and this one and also give it a dimension of 0 0.016. Now click this point and the center line and give it a diameter of 0.34. And click this point and the origin and make a horizontal dimension of 2.494. Click OK. Zoom a little out. Now click this point and click the origin and make a horizontal dimension of 2.109 click the origin and click this point and give it a horizontal dimension of 1.948 click OK now drag this one a little down choose your smart dimension tool click this point in the center line and give it a diameter of 0 0.441 click OK choose your line tool and snap to this point and drag a line up to this point now snap to this point and drag a line to this point and click OK and now control click this line and this line and make it parallel so now we have this one fully defined. Go to Features and choose Revolve at Boss. It will revolve around the center line. Click OK to accept. Now press Edit Component to exit. Now right click your part and click Save Part in External File. Click the file name and type Cartridge. Choose specify, specify path and specify where you want to save the part. And remember to give it a name. It could be bullet cartridge and click OK. Now press the arrow in the insert components and choose a new part and select the front plane. And press Ctrl 1. Choose the center line tool and sketch a horizontal center line. Click the center line and make it infinite. And click the origin and Ctrl click the center line and make it coincident. Now choose your line tool and sketch some lines like I'm doing here. And finish by snapping to this edge and double click to escape. Go to display style and choose wireframe. Now click this point and control click this point and make it coincident. Choose your smart dimension tool. And now wait a minute. If if you still have millimeters when when you have made this new part, make sure to choose inches. And click the the line and edit the sketch and choose your smart dimension tool and give this one a dimension of 0.45 or now maybe just 0.41 like this now choose your spline tool and snap to this point and snap to the center line and press escape now choose your smart dimension tool and make a dimension between this point and the origin of 3.34 press escape. Now control click the spline and this line and make an equal curvature. Now click the spline and drag this handle a little up and make a vertical relation to this handle. Now choose your smart dimension tool and click this arrow and give it a dimension of 0.35 and click this arrow and give it a dimension of 1 inch now choose your line tool and sketch a line between those points to close the sketch. Go to features and go to revolver bars.
and click this line to re revolve it and click OK. Now choose shaded with edges to watch it like this and press edit component to exit. Now right click your part and click save part in external file. And give it a new name. It could be rifle bullet for example. And specify the path of where you want to save it and click OK and click OK once more. Now you can right click the cartridge and open the part and give it a new appearance of brass for example. You have to expand metal and go to go to brass and right click polish brass and click add appearance to part. And if you open your bullet by right clicking it right clicking it, it and choose open part. You press F to zoom out. You can give it a little chamfer in the end of say 0.3 inches. 0 0.03 inches like this and click OK and add some copper to the part and press save and close it down. So now you have modeled a, a rifle cartridge and a rifle bullet. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and you will find it useful. Thank you for watching. Bye.